Hello, Star Wars fans. This is JAR369. Welcome back for another fake, well, Lego review. Today, I'll be taking a look at the Lego Star Wars Darth Vader mech build or set. So, take a look at the packaging. You can see, there's the packaging here. You see, there's the image of the, the mech here. And you can see the inclusion of the minifigure. And it has 139 pieces. Building toy, recommend for ages 6 plus, number 75368. On the side, you get the, you get, let me put this aside here. You get the image of the Mac here, Star Wars, Lego Star Wars logo on the side, nothing. There's the image of the figure. On the back, there's the image of the figure in the Mac here. And there's the image of the characters. You get Boba Fett, which I already have. And probably my review to, and the and the review will be up tomorrow, and of course there's a stormtrooper which, yeah I only getting Darth Vader and the stormtrooper because come on they're like my they're like my guys come on, but I'm not sure if I want to get like a stormtrooper Lego minifigure mech thing, maybe not, so yeah, that's about it for the packaging. Now let's take a look at the the build. So let's start off with a minifigure first. Let's take a look at Lord Vader himself. It looks pretty good. The helmet looks really not too bad. It looks really good, like I said. Yeah, not too bad at all. Not too bad. The helmet looks really good. Very well, well, brand new to me because the only Darth Vader I own was like wearing like the classic Darth Vader helmet. But this one is a bit different because it includes like this little piece here. Like in the movies. Plus there's the head of Anakin Skywalker all burned up. Look at that scar on his uh, head here. Yeah, I'm trying to move his head like forward. Like so. Let's put the head back on. The printing looks pretty good. You can see some printings on the chest there. And lift up the cape here. There's more printing on the back. What's interesting is there's a printing on the sleeves area there on each side. Pretty well done for Lego. And also he does have like this um, lightsaber accessory that he comes with. Because come on. You cannot have Vader without the, ex the lightsaber. And for articulation, it is exactly the same standard articulation as the Lego minifigures. So let's move on. So yeah, for the minifigure of Darth Vader, it looks pretty good. If you cannot afford getting any sense that includes the Darth Vader minifigure, then the mech will be the cheaper way to get the the Lego minifigure of Darth Vader. So yeah, there he is. Really fine looking Lego minifigure, I would say. Whoops. He sometimes fall down. There we go. And now let's move on to the mech. The build itself looks pretty good. Pretty decent, I would say. It's alright. You can see there's like a little buttons here. The same one that Darth Vader does in his chest. And you get that lightsaber on his hand here. So yeah, it looks pretty good. You can see hilts for holding on his lightsaber and everything. You can see like there's like movable fingers and everything else. You see more open parts there. Yeah, the build itself is alright, like I said. And on the bottom, there's like more studs bottom on here. Overall, like I said, the build is alright. So, yeah. Articulation, the, the arms have ball jointed. When I heard there's like a new piece for these, I thought like the arm, like they might have like bent at the elbows, but they don't. I don't know why Lego has done that. But it does have like articulated fingers like so. You can have him like doing like a fisted hand or maybe if you take out the middle part of the finger. So yeah. <laughs> and there's the ball joint at the legs. Ball joint at the feet there. Same thing on the elbows. There's no articulation on the knees sadly. I really wish they added that. To make him more poseable. Eh, why Lego? Why? So yeah. 
articulation are not very limited articulating like the previous mech figures I reviewed, like the Wolverine one. Yeah. But anyway, let's take off his lightsaber here and open this cockpit here. Yeah. Move the cape, there we go, and put the lightsaber here like so. And there we go, there you have Vader riding his own mech. Like so. Yeah, not too bad on, on him. We're ready to fight with, well, Luke Skywalker or the Emperor. Yeah. But overall, for the uh, the build itself, it's pretty good. Not too bad. But I really wish there's some knee articulation and elbow articulation on, the, on here. Because, yeah, it just looks too short, to be honest. Yeah, for the retail of $6 of $16 well I would recommend getting this thing to go on sale so yeah oh I forgot to mention it like a Lego he does come with a, this manual to build this Lego here so yeah anyways overall for this Lego set it's all right I really like the minifigure though and I say this is a really a uh an okay looking mech to be honest yeah, like I said, I would recommend getting this when it's on sale. But if you were like a big Vader van, like I am, then yeah, go ahead and pay the fifteen, like the sixteen dollars payment for the fit the sixteen dollars retail price. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please consider like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new to my channel, and follow me on Instagram and Threads. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the Lego Star Wars Darth Vader mech build or set made, made by, well, Lego, of course. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on my next review. And remember, this is Long Live the Empire.